Hi friends, welcome back to another episode of Generation Tech. My name is Alan. In Star Wars, technology never really seems to evolve. Whether you're in the Old Republic era, Clone Wars era, Galactic Civil War era, or the New Republic era, it's an issue I've always wanted to talk about, the stagnation of technology in Star Wars. But before we begin, a special thanks to Internext, who we partnered with to bring you this episode. The whole premise of Rogue One and the original Star Wars film and The Force Awakens, basically a third of the Star Wars films, was to keep data secure. Unfortunately, in Star Wars, data is still kept on physical memory drives. Yup, they could fly across the galaxy in a week or two and build moon-sized peacekeeping stations, but they just can't figure out how to decentralize data. Just think about all those poor bastards who died protecting what essentially was a USB stick. Now, this is where something like Internex xCloud would come to play. It's an incredibly secure cloud storage platform. It runs on a peer-to-peer -peer network known as xCore. So all your data isn't stored on corporate servers, which are located in only a few different locations, making it an easy target for rebels. On top of that, your data is encrypted end-to-end -end and then split into little packages and spread across many different machines, which means it's well protected from crime syndicates and their hackers and our benevolent Emperor Palpatine and all of his Imperial Buckethead spooks. And anyone can be a host, but unlike other cloud services, individuals who decide to be a host for the xCloud platform will be paid in cryptocurrency known as Internex Tokens. I mean, if you're going to risk storing some highly sensitive Death Star plans on your computer, you might as well be paid. Right? But in all seriousness, unlike the Star Wars universe, our planet's technology is growing exponentially. And in order to sustain that growth, computing power and storage are going to be very important commodities that will drive all of our future technological advancements. So yes, computing power and storage will be a commodity, just like kyber crystals, gasoline, and Ewok bellies. I mean, is there anything more delicious than a hot steaming slab of crispy roasted Ewok belly fresh from the oven? Distracting and delicious. Anyway guys, if you want to learn more about Internex xCloud and their new cryptocurrency, just follow the link which we will put down below. Also, keep an eye out for their beta launch, which will happen in quarter three of this year. Now back to the Star Wars galaxy, where like Keanu Reeves, technology will never change. The obvious immersion shattering reason why Star Wars technology is stagnant is that Star Wars creators have to keep a certain set of rules both visually and functionally so that Star Wars remains familiar to our audiences. Like the Sith war droid, which basically looks just like a CIS droidica. Now, the Old Republic is Legends, and in Star Wars, Legends and Canon seem to treat technology a bit differently, but we're going to talk about that later on. First, we're going to look at Star Wars Legends' view of ancient Star Wars history, because the canon version of Star Wars is relatively new and barely mentions anything about the past at all. And until canon covers the ancient Old Republic era, well, we'll probably have to rely on Legends for quite a while. There are various ancient Star Wars races that developed empires across the galaxy, but one of the most significant of those empires was the Rakatans. Their technology was driven by the dark side of the Force. It operated a lot of their technology, including their version of hyperspace travel. The Rakatans went on to enslave much of the core of the galaxy. But eventually, a mysterious disease hit the Rakatans, severing their connection to the Force. Gradually, the Rakatan Empire fell apart as their technology became useless. The Rakans that weren't overthrown by their slaves devolved into primitive tribes within a few generations. Some of Rakan technology was salvaged by their slaves and repurposed, like the hyperdrive, but a lot of the more incredible technological achievements the Rakatans developed were lost forever, like the Starforge. And when the Rakatans met their decline, the galaxy fell into a dark age, which is the first theory of why Star Wars technology has become stagnant. Several large conflicts throughout the history of Star Wars has led to the destruction of entire planets, races, and subsequently all of their technological developments. During the Republic's long history, there have been several major wars that have caused huge amounts of destruction across the galaxy, and even on the Republic capital of Coruscant. This included several major conflicts between the Jedi Order and the Sith. These reoccurring battles between the Jedi and the Sith destroyed several ancient Force artifacts and techniques from ancient times when the Jedi and Sith were united as the Jedi. This was not only because of the conflict between the two factions, but also because of the restrictive dogma that each side were preaching in order to discount the other side's teachings. But through it all, the Republic more or less remained intact. While there were large battles and disasters, along with the sacking of the capital, the Republic never truly disappeared. The Republic's military and scientific institutions remained intact, along with the millions of libraries and archives spread across its territory. While the Sith Empire was almost completely destroyed more than once, the technology that they shared with the Republic was preserved within the Republic. So while the Republic might have faced some serious setbacks, it never encountered a galaxy-wide dark age like the Rakatan Empire suffered. 
It can also be argued that war oftentimes advances technology, as long as both sides don't mutually destroy each other. And in Star Wars, that's also true. War drove the competing militaries of the galaxy to create more advanced ships and weapons. Although many of them, like the Death Star and Centerpoint Station, were based on ancient technology that the galaxy had lost and needed to be recovered. While Star Wars technology has improved over time, the increments in which they have improved have been quite small, especially if you consider how much time has passed. For instance, the famous Hammerhead Cruiser was used by the Republic for more than 3,000 years, which is just ridiculous, especially considering our own timeline. 3,000 years ago, battle tanks looked like this. 3,000 years ago, frontline infantry looked like this. And not only has Star Wars starship design not changed in thousands of years, the tactics also have remained mostly unchanged as well. Look at this battle from the Old Republic era between the Sith Empire and the Republic. There's starfighters dogfighting at close range and capital ships also engaging each other at close range. Both sides are using line of sight energy weapons and guided projectiles. 4,000 years later, we had the Battle of Scarif and the same exact tactics. If we look in our own world, the battlefield has changed drastically in the last half century, let alone several thousands of years. It doesn't really make sense. You'd think over the years someone would figure out a new tactic or create a new technology that would significantly change how Star Wars battles are fought. Well, there is that. One theory says it's possible that in Star Wars many of the cultures are against technological advancement. For instance, a more authoritarian government might discourage higher learning amongst its populace and refuse to fund the sciences. But that theory doesn't really make sense, right? I mean, the Star Wars galaxy is full of innovation and scientists. Even during the rise of the Empire, the sciences were considered an integral part of creating stability in the galaxy. Another theory states that there are certain resources and technologies that haven't been discovered and that are blocking all future technological advancement. That could be something like a new power source or some new type of material. Which leads to our next theory, which states that the Star Wars universe has reached its pinnacle in scientific development. While our own technology here on Earth has grown exponentially, we are relatively behind the curve when compared to the Star Wars galaxy. It's very possible that our own scientific development will one day stop growing exponentially and begin to plateau because of one limitation or another. This means instead of seeing technological advancements, what we'll see is lateral technological developments using already existing discoveries. Now, in Star Wars canon, it seems like they're taking a new approach to things. In this version of Star Wars, the prehistory of the Republic seems relatively unknown, but from what we can see, it's a lot shorter than the Legends version, and the ancient Jedi, as we know, copied written language on books, which is quite primitive. So it's possible that future canon versions of the Star Wars galaxy will get rid of technological stagnation altogether. Well guys, I'm curious to hear what your theories are about Star Wars technology stagnation. Let me know in the comment section below uh, if you have any different ideas from what we've mentioned. Also, a special thanks to Internex today. Don't forget to check out their xCloud and cryptocurrency. We've linked all their details down below. Also, don't forget to subscribe, like us on Facebook, and as usual, thanks for joining us today. If you're watching this, you are Generation Tech.